Hello, I'm Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. Thank you for your time. I'm continuing with the series of videos entitled Starting Nonprofits Basic Fundamentals, in which I talk about the 20 steps to starting nonprofit organizations. I've been helping people start nonprofit organizations since 2010. Thus far, I have completed over 400 application packets and these are the 20 steps that I've identified in the process to earning 501c3 status. So in this video, we're gonna talk about step number six of 20, which is name the nonprofit. So step number six of 20 steps is name the nonprofit. Step six, name the nonprofit. Step six of 20, starting nonprofits. Name the nonprofit organization. Provide a broad name for the nonprofit organization so that any program name will make sense. Again, when you're thinking about a name for your nonprofit organization, choose a broad name for the organization. You notice I have the word organization highlighted in burgundy to stand out from the text because we're talking about an organization and not a program. So a broad name for the nonprofit organization is needed so that any program name will make sense. Let me show you an example. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. The name of the organization is Comprehensive Community-Based Solutions Incorporated. And you're going to have incorporated at the end of a name if it's a 501c3 nonprofit organization because you have to incorporate it on a state level in order for the IRS to approve it on the federal level. So this name, Comprehensive Community-Based Solutions Incorporated, is a broad name for a nonprofit organization. You don't want anything specific because you don't want to hinder your ability to grow over time. So when you have a broad name, you can have different program names to fit underneath it. For example, you see underneath this broad name of Comprehensive Community-Based Solutions Incorporated, you can have a reading program. You can have a music program. You can have a soccer program. So now you can get more specific in the services you plan to offer through the programs under the organization. But let's say you name the organization Comprehensive Reading Skills Program. Okay, if the organization's name is Comprehensive Reading Skills Program Incorporated, where can you go from there in the future? Can you add a history program? Can you have? Can you add a basketball program? No, because the name is too specific in the organization. So you always want to have a broad name for the organization, like I have here, so that you can continue to add specifically titled programs underneath it. And by the way, I highly recommend only having three programs underneath your organization when you're first starting. You don't want to overwhelm yourself or your team. So program number one, reading program. Program number two, a music program. Program number three, a soccer program. All three programs will have their own specific identities, their own specific uh, people who are going to operate those programs, their own specific objectives underneath one broad named organization. Organization up top, programs at the bottom. And one more thing, the organization will have the employer identification number or the EIN. So the EIN will be assigned to the organization name. Therefore, all money all financial resources that come into the organization will be dispersed to the programs. The programs don't get their individual cuts of the money. 
the organization gets the money and then the executive director will disperse the money to the programs. Just a tip. So are you ready to start a nonprofit yourself? If you are ready to start a nonprofit, I offer two options for you. The first option is do it yourself. Do it yourself resources. If you would like to learn how to start a 501c3 nonprofit organization from scratch, then I invite you to enroll in this course, the Starting Nonprofits Basic Fundamentals Online Self-Paced Course. You can learn around your schedule, at your pace, in the comfort, privacy, and safety of your home. All you have to do is go to my website at trustsusanwoods.com backslash courses, and you'll see a full list of the courses that I offer. But if you say, you know what, I don't want to do it myself. I would like to hire you done for you services, DFY services. So if you don't have the time or maybe you just don't have the desire to complete the tedious process of starting a 501c3 nonprofit organization from scratch, then I invite you to hire me to complete the process for you. My approval rating is 100%. And I started completing application packets for private clients in 2010. So I have a wealth of experience. I've helped over 400 people so far earn 501c3 status over the years. So all you have to do if you want to go this route is reserve a phone consultation with me at trustsusanwoods.com backslash consultations. So that's a, those are two ways that you can start a nonprofit. Do it yourself with my classes or done for you by hiring me. So who am I? I'm Susan Woods. I started a nonprofit organization myself in 2006, and it is called Comprehensive Community-Based Solutions Incorporated. I operated two programs underneath it, Panorama Computer Learning and the Emerging Leaders Mentorship Program. Again, I offer nonprofit consulting services. I complete the 501c3 application for clients. I facilitate in-person and online classes, too, to teach you how to do it yourself. I believe in own... I believe in lifelong learning, continuing education, especially in a nonprofit sector that changes so much. Therefore, I completed three nonprofit management certificates, one from Duke, one from Winthrop, and one from Wake Forest. And I am a three-time graduate of Winthrop University. My passion is helping people help people. My passion is helping people earn 501c3 nonprofit status so that they can do great work in the communities that they want to serve. And so I've identified the 20 steps to starting a nonprofit that I use myself to help people start nonprofit organizations across the United States. I've helped people in over 30 in 32 states so far. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video message. And if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button and subscribe so that you will know when I upload additional videos because next is number seven, step number seven in the process. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.